Thomas Markle, when I heard my daughter Megan's baby news on the radio, the first thing I thought about was holding her in my arms as a newborn. It was the middle of the night as Thomas Markle drove his trusty 20-year-old silver Volvo towards the U.S.-Mexico border. The 74-year-old retired Hollywood lighting director was listening to his favorite show, Red Eye Radio, on cab talk radio when the conversation was suddenly interrupted just before 1 a.m. with a news flash. Congratulations are in order for America's favorite royals. Kensington Palace confirmed that Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child in the spring. For Mr. Markle, the Duchess of Sussex's estranged father, the news was overwhelming and joyful. In his first interview since the pregnancy was announced, Mr. Markle, speaking exclusively to the Mail on Sunday, said, I was sitting in line waiting to cross the border when I heard the baby announcement on the car radio. The first thing I thought about was holding Megan in my arms as a newborn 37 years ago. I thought, my baby is having a baby. It was a very proud moment. I was filled with love, joy and happiness for both my beautiful daughter and my son-in-law. A new baby is a blessing and I look forward to seeing a little Megan or a little Harry. He recalled how, in the early hours of August 4, 1981, his daughter was born in Canoga Park Hospital in the suburbs of Los Angeles. It was in the middle of the night when Megan was born by cesarean section. Doria, Megan's mother, was sleeping, anesthetized, and so I was the first person in the world to hold Megan. When they handed her to me and I held her in my arms for the first time it was love at first sight. She was the most beautiful baby. Megan winked at me and I fell in love and have never stopped loving her from that day forward. When Kensington Palace made the happy announcement on Monday, shortly after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex landed in Sydney for a 16-day royal tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga and Fiji, a spokesman said, The Queen, Duke of Edinburgh, Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall, and Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted for the couple. Ms. Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. It was not known at that stage if Mr. Markle had been told. He has denied stories claiming that Doria revealed the news to him before the official announcement. She is understood to be planning to move to Britain to help care for the baby. Mr. Markle refuses to say anything negative about his daughter and Prince Harry and said he was only speaking out publicly in the hope it would alleviate some of the intense media scrutiny that continues around him. He says, I have seven cars outside my house with reporters and photographers in them. It's a gross invasion of my privacy. It may strike some as unnecessarily cruel and unkind that Meghan's mother was included in the official statement while her father was left to find out along with the rest of the world, given the controversy that has surrounded Mr. Markle. He became estranged from Meghan days before the royal wedding in May after hanging up on Prince Harry. The prince had called to chastise him for cooperating with paparazzi pictures which showed, among other things, Mr. Markle being fitted for a wedding suit. Then he was unable to walk his daughter down the aisle at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, after suffering two heart attacks. In an interview with this newspaper, one of only three he has given, Mr. Markle apologized for his lack of judgment in cooperating with the paparazzi. It was, he said, a misguided attempt to improve his image after being hounded as he went about his daily business. Mr. Markle is yet to meet his son-in-law. But he said, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. Me not getting a call is most likely a misunderstanding about my two back-to-back -back heart attacks and me missing the wedding. There has been so much misinformation and lies that perhaps made them mistrust me. But he congratulated the couple and said his daughter would be a wonderful mother. I wasn't surprised by the baby announcement. Meghan loves children and she and Harry have been talking about wanting a family from the start. I'm delighted for them both. She's always been wonderful with children and most of her friends have families so she's used to being around kids. She will make a fantastic mother. Mr. Markle added he was full of pride for the way his daughter was handling her first overseas tour, saying, she's doing so well winning the hearts and minds of everyone in Australia. After the news of Meghan's pregnancy, Mr. Markle is clearly reveling in his happy memories of the little girl he affectionately called Maggie and Bean. He says some of his happiest times with Meghan as a baby were the quiet moments they spent together. Mr. Markle was 37 when Meghan was born and was already a highly successful Emmy Award-winning Hollywood lighting director, working on the top-rated TV soap General Hospital.
he and Doria, who is 12 years his junior, raised their daughter in the affluent Los Angeles suburb of Woodland Hills. With a heavy work schedule, Mr. Markle relished his time with Megan. He said, My greatest joy was coming home from work, picking her up and just walking back and forth with her in the kitchen, holding her in my arms. She would listen to the hum of the refrigerator and it would lull her to sleep. My other favorite memory is of walking outside with her in the garden and I would point up at the moon and say, that's Maggie's moon. I did that for so long that eventually she was able to look up, point and say, Maggie's moon. Although Mr. Markle split with M's Ragland when Megan was three, he remained closely involved in his daughter's upbringing. I would see her all the time. I had her every weekend. We lived close and Megan went between the two homes very happily. Megan lived full time with her father from the age of 12 until she was 18. He said, I would take her to school every morning because it was on my way to work at the studio. If I could, I would pick her up in the afternoon or I'd send a limo or one of the crew to pick her up and bring her to the set. Suits actress Megan, 37 has spoken in the past about how her father instilled in her a love of acting and show business. In one touching Father's Day post on Instagram, which was taken down after she met Prince Harry, she posted a picture of herself as a baby laying on her father's chest and wrote, To this day your hugs are still the very best in the whole wide world. Thanks for my work ethic, my love of Busby Berkeley films and club sandwiches, for teaching me the importance of handwritten thank you notes and for giving me that signature Markle nose. I love you XO, Bean. Mr. Markle, who retired to Mexico six years ago, said, I love my daughter and always will. She will be a great mom. I wish her and Harry nothing but the best.